welcome back to Pokemon Trainer Shihan. This is actually a re-upload of this exact video. We had some technical difficulties with the audio, but we now have a new microphone. We're going to be testing it out. So without further ado, enjoy the video. In the last video, I had come into contact with a limited edition Gen 2 Pokemon Game Boy Color. However, after opening it up, it clearly needed a good cleaning. And after close evaluation, I came to the conclusion that this shell made the Game Boy console so special, not the motherboard itself. So, we're gonna fix it. Test for circuit faults, I set my multimeter to continuity mode. If a circuit is working, you should hear a beep. At this point, I suspected that the switch may be faulty. Either I place it with a new one or fix the original. I think I'll try the original first. I'll use a box cutter and slip the blade in between the metal shielding and plastic housing. Then it's just a quick solder tap on the end to pry off the metal shielding. The opposite end is much easier to remove, so much so it made me jump a little. Ew, look how filthy the switch is. Just scraping the contacts with my tweezers is enough to clean it. And for the moment of truth, which failed, I had failed to see the metal housing was bent, making the switch practically useless. Time to actually replace it. I would just source the switch from a broken DS light board. These work way better than the universal switches you get on eBay in my opinion. To give a better representation on how a Game Boy Color switch operates, I salvaged the original model. You can see that the switch has two layers and is separated into four quadrants. My tweezers will act as the metal contacts found in the picture depicted. The tweezer makes a constant contact on the first two pads grounding it, but when you slide it up, the console has constant power. I don't know if I lost the, the footage, but yeah. Okay, um, I don't think I actually recorded me actually starting it back in place, but that turns on. Guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. The Game Boy's a success. It finally turns on and it plays games as well. I can't be happier that I got this customer's Game Boy up and working again. But yeah, that's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe so you guys will be notified of future videos. I'll see you guys in the next video.